Well, you guys got another video here for you now wanting to make this video for quite a while it's on a program called mcsoft anti-malware it's a really decent program and uh, it's right up there in my opinion for detection and protection and uh, as you can see here this is a paid product um, but we're running on a trial version here I'm not in uh, any way sponsored by mcsoft anti-malware um, at all, but I'm going to try and give you my honest opinion here. I do like the company and I like the uh, program um, But I've been around a while so you can see here. They've got this new interface uh, With the tile sort of base front here and you've got the sub menus here. You can click on uh, You've got your surf protection file guard and behavior blocker. It's very similar into the way malware bytes works um, But it's a you know, they're both different programs. It's got a, two engines on it. They've got their own engine which it runs on and also Bitdefender's engine as well so you've got that added protection so you've also got the scan here which is a quick scan, smart scan, full scan and I've also got a custom scan as well now you've also got your quarantine in your log area so let's have a look at the settings up the top here now in this area here you've got all your enable real time protection at startup, enable self protection and they've got these little icons here you can hover over and it will tell you a little bit about it as well and you've got the enable uh, caption protection now this is like uh, when you go to those websites and you have to put in those numbers and stuff it's like a human check uh, type thing yeah to stop uh, spammers or, or malware trying to shut the program down now some people may find this a bit intrusive and have to keep doing this but this is the world we live in today and I think that's a great added feature um, but as you can see here we've got active memory uses and optimization and you can see yourself uh, the program has got quite a lot of protection on it it's also got a pups protection which I've already automatically enabled on install and you can see if you come into the permissions area you can see uh, execution configuration and protection and in the protection area you can see we've got all these enabled okay so if you go into your notifications, you can see your notification area, you can have all these ticked or unticked, depends on how you want to do it. You've got your automatic update, you can set your updates to how you like it to be updated. You can join uh, the community of MCSoft Anti-Malware Network if you wish, or you can opt out. And you've got your enable scheduled scan, so you can do all your scheduled scans in the background, just like you can with any other type of uh, antivirus or anti-malware program, okay? And you've got your general tab, which has got all your other ticks here, which is your enable real time at startup. Also, self protection and caption. It shows you a little bit more just here as well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is run some tests on this and uh, see how it goes with some of the samples that we've got. Okay, so let's uh, do some link testing with our uh, MCSoft anti malware. So, what we're going to do here is open up. Internet Explorer and uh, snap that to the side there. I've got some links here. Now we've got um, also smart filtering turned off and stuff like that. So we're going to try and test some of these links to see whether it detects these and stops them from getting on the system. So we'll just push enter here and run this to see whether it gets detected. So it's behavioral uh, program may take a bit of time to sometimes detect these you just got to let it do its thing and uh, we'll run this as you can see could not initialize it's some sort of Chinese program or Korean there we go it stopped that uh, there and it stopped this link so that's good And the good thing about this program also is it gives you an option to enable or disable these uh, links, whether it's a false positive or not, websites and stuff, which is something that Malwarebytes doesn't do. But you can see on here that it will give you an option. If you view details here, you can see um, it will allow you to block this or not. Okay. It'll automatically block it anyway, but if you wanted to let that through, you can do.
and that's something that malware bytes doesn't do it just blocks and you have to go into the list into the program itself it's just a quick option there um, but we'll run these as we go and that's starting to install reimage repair okay it's probably going to have junk wear in it so I'm just going to cancel that one and that's been blocked also as you can see these are getting blocked We'll try it, this one. And they are getting blocked as you can see. A little bit slow to delay on that previous one there. Uh, but it is blocking them, which is good. As you can see they're coming up and getting blocked so we're going to run this we'll see if this uh, blocks the install Okay, we're going to run this. You can see it's starting to uh, pick up on that file that it was trying to install there, and uh, it's been quarantined, which is okay. So it did pick up on that and quarantine it, which is good. to run this one and we can see here potentially unwanted program which is another good thing uh, it's um, pop this up so what we're going to do here is just quarantine this as you can see here it's going a bit mad now so we'll just uh, quarantine those let's to run this so we'll let this run and again we want to quarantine it excellent okay removal notification some detections could not be removed it's necessary to reboot your computer okay it wants us to reboot our computer but we're going to do two more links here before I do that Okay, so we're just going to give this a little bit of time just to make sure that there's no, none of these that are trying to drop in the background. Close it off. And then we'll restart our computer in a second and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so we're now back at the desktop and uh, we can check our blog files here. So we're going to go to blogs and you can see here it's the detection that it's had on this uh, files. And uh, also we can go through here quarantine and you can see the quarantine of these. Okay, so it's quarantine these. file guard again you can see the file guard how it's been working so what we're going to do now is just going to open up some malware and get it onto the system and then uh, give it a test to see what it detects in them folders on malware that's actually got onto the system so let me get that prepared and then I'll do a scan on that
Okay, so I've got my malware samples on my desktop. As you can see here, we've got quite a few. There's 76 megabytes of uh, malware samples in here. And as you can see, there's a quite an array of them. So what we're going to do here is re-enable our program. And all we need to do is come down to the bottom right-hand side here. We're going to just re-enable the protection. You can pause it, as you can see here. And uh, you can also see that we can re-enable all components. So we're just going to quickly enable this like we've done here. Make sure everything's off and we're running. And then we're going to run a scan with our program. And you can see it's detecting quite a few. Okay, 145 there. Scanned 143, detected 145. So let me just uh, see what was in the uh, folder itself. 143, you can see there it's detected quite a few. So what we're going to do here is delete uh, selected. You can quarantine them, but we're just going to delete them. Then we're going to do these ones as well. Okay. Okay, so that's there. Been detected. And inside here, you can see we've just got an handful of stuff here, which uh, got left behind. That never got detected. As you can see here, but what we're going to do is give that a test. So I think that's a pretty good detection rate there. And uh, what we're going to do is try to run these to see whether it actually detects them. So we'll try the first one. Uh, we'll try this bottom one here first. And it has detected it and it stopped it. So as you can see here, it's been detected. So if I continue we'll see we'll try this next one so as you can see there that done a pretty good job at detecting all this sort of stuff so let's have a look at the log files we can clear all this lot it did find this as you can see here and uh, we're gonna Quickly look down here. Okay, I can see that there. So what we'll do now is I'm going to quickly delete the rest of this junk on the system. Okay, welcome back. I've just rebooted the system and uh, run CCLEAN to clean off any junk that may be left behind. And uh, running a scan with Hitman Pro now and uh, to see whether that comes up clean. And also we're going to run a scan. Uh, with Malwarebytes which is running at the moment here as well as you can see but all in all it's all looking pretty good at the moment uh, I think uh, MCSoft has done an excellent job at defending this computer and stopping it getting infected so we'll be back when the scan's finished okay so that's the scan now complete and as you can see there's been zero infections found which is pretty awesome and uh, let's have a check at Hitman Pro, that's still running. There's a couple of little bits and pieces here, um, remnants here that uh, I can see. So I'm just going to quickly remove those. They're no biggie. I can deal with those. Uh, but we'll just remove those from the system. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with uh, MCSoft's anti malware program. Pretty awesome at uh, defending this uh, computer. Now, obviously, no one uh, anti-malware program or antivirus program will protect you against all infections. These are just some simple tests that we've done just to see whether um, it can defend our computer. And, and again, I think it has done pretty good. So that is a, a review and a, a test of the uh, new um, MCSoft anti-malware program, as you can see. So give it a go guys, as you can see here is a trial you can use for 30 days to test it out for yourself and, and let me know what you think. Now if you like these videos and you want to see more likes and more videos like this then obviously you can uh, 
leave a comment down in the section below and uh, let me know what videos you want to see because that's what I like doing is making videos that you want to see yourself so we're just going to let this finish off and uh, clean this up and I think that's a, a pretty much a done deal for this video so anyway guys so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope you enjoy these videos if you do then show show it by hitting that like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for sticking around have a great weekend and I'll see you again in the next video bye for now